Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today here I will give you a program, you need to guess the output of that program. Later we'll execute that program and I'll explain you how that program works. So here is your today's program. Pause this video and try to guess the output of this program. Alright, I hope now you have your answer. So we'll execute this program and we'll check whether you got the same answer or not. So answer is this. So now if you got the same answer, then you know how this program works. If not, I'll explain you the program now. So first here we have a list called list one. It contains many elements. Few are strings, few are float, few are integer and it contains boolean value also. So next here we have value one, value two variable. Initially, I'll take value one variable value as zero value two variable as empty string. So we are taking two variables and we'll initialize the one variable with zero and another variable with empty string. Next here we can see the for loop. We are applying the for loop on the list one. And here we can see we'll check the type of the element in the list one. If the type of the element is int or float, we will add that value and we'll store that in value one variable value one. Okay, so initially I value will be one. So it is integer, right? So this condition will be satisfied. Type of one is nothing but int. So that will be added to value one. Here we are using logical or operator. That means if the element is int or float, we need to add that here. Next, we'll check whether the type of i is string. If the element of the list one is string, then we need to add that to value two. So that is nothing but we are separating the integer float and string values and we are adding that or concatenating them separately. Next we can see the else part. It will execute break statement. As I said, the list one contains integer values, floating values, string values, as well as Boolean value. True is a Boolean value here. So if you encounter with the Boolean value, then execute the break statement, come out of the loop. No need to execute further. Okay. Next we'll print the value one and value two outside the for loop. So here why we got the answer as 21.5 and A, B, C, D, E, F. So that is because first I value is one. Its type is int. So this condition will satisfy. So it will add value one plus I. Value one is initially zero. Zero plus one. That is one. Next again control goes to the for loop. It won't execute the elif part and else part. So i value is 1.1 now. So that is the floating value. So this condition will be satisfied. So that value will be added to value 1. Value 1 value is initially 1. 1 plus 1.1 1 .1, that is 2.1. So now value 1 is 2.1. Again control goes to the for loop and i value is a b c. So this condition won't satisfy because i is not an integer value floating value. So it will check for the elif condition. The type of i is string. A, B, C is a string. So this condition will be satisfied and it will add i to the value 2. Value 2 initially empty string plus now A, B, C. So it will concatenate two strings. We will get A, B, C in value 2. Again control goes to the for loop and now i value is 10. So here it will check for this condition. Yes, 10 is an integer value. This condition will be satisfied. So that will be add to value 1. So 10 will be added to value 1. So value 1 value is 2.1 plus 10, 12.1. So it will become 12.1. Again, control goes to the for loop and now I value is def. So this condition won't satisfy. So it will execute elif condition. This condition will be satisfied. So it will concatenate def to value 2. Value 2 initially contains abc now. It will concatenate it with the def. So we'll get abc def. So now again control goes to the for loop body. i becomes phi. So phi is an integer value. So this condition will be satisfied. So value 1 is equal to value 1 plus i. It is 12.1 plus phi. 17.1. So value 1 becomes 17.1. Again, control goes to the for loop body. Now I value is 4.4. That is a floating value. So this condition will be satisfied. So 4.4 will be added to value 1. So 17.1 plus 4.4. That is 21.5. So 
so value 1 becomes 21.5 again control goes to the for loop body now i value is true so it will check whether type of i is int no type of i is float no so it will execute the elif body type of i is string no true is not a string value it is a boolean value so it won't satisfy both the condition so else part will be executed that is nothing but break statement so it will come out of the loop it won't check for the elements it will come out of the loop so it will execute print value 1 value 2 value 1 is nothing but 21.5 and value 2 is nothing but a b c d e f so that's why we got the output like this okay so this is about this program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you next class till then take care